Hey, this is Martin from Abacus Whiskers, and I want to give you a quick overview of our budgeting and monthly spending tracker. It's designed to be very simple. It's been made for us as a family to keep track of our spending first and foremost, and we just thought we'd share it um, with anybody who wants to use it. So it's made up of various tabs on the bottom um, with two sheets, two tabs for each month. There's an adjustments page and a spending tracker, and I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, the first page that you come to is the at a glance page um, which has links through to the spending tracker for each month um, this really comes into its own uh, at the end of a month or end of a few months where you can look and see um, a nice overview of um, your spending uh, uh, over those months okay it allows you to spot sort of trends and patterns um, the main one uh, main tab to for you to fill in uh, which is then pulled through onto almost every other tab is the regular income and outgoings. So if you fill in um, any regular income you've got, um, it will then total it up. You can fill that in as much as you want to. And then your regular outgoings, uh, 750, um, 100, 150. Just put some figures in. Uh, there you go so I've put some figures in so there it's got a total regular income and our regular outgoings okay so those figures are then and, um, and are then used elsewhere in the spreadsheet um, I'll come to assets and liabilities last so that information is then pulled through to this tab the adjustments for each month Okay. So this allows you to change the regular income and outgoings because sometimes you get paid a little bit more, a bit less, your child benefit might be higher or lower, gas bill might be a bit lower or higher, etc. So um, you can just put your plus or minus figures in here. So say we've got uh, did a bit of overtime, so we've got an extra £200 that month, um, but actually uh, it was a shorter month, so we got... Twenty-five pounds less child benefit. It adjusts those figures. Um, gas was actually a little bit cheaper because we ended up the heating on, but the electricity was a little bit higher. Okay, so we've adjusted those figures. You can also do like the kind of one-off bigger purchases or income. So, like, say you got a bonus that month um, of a thousand pounds. That goes in there. And we're going to treat ourselves to a, um, um, a, a holiday cottage. Let's just rename it. Holiday cottage. And I'm going to say it's going to cost £500. Okay. So that's then taking into account all of those income, um, in, income and outgoings. So that then tells me how much I've got left over, how much spare money I've got for the month, which is then up here in this, uh, these cells up here, which is then pulled through to our spending tracker. Um, and you can see here's a little bit, something I was working on earlier. Um, so it pulls through the figures here and then you can keep track of your spending here. So you enter the items, uh, bought a new pair of shoes and they were um, £45. Uh, you enter the items and then it deducts what you've spent from uh, the original amount and then from the running balance. So it will keep allow you to keep an eye on how close to zero you're getting, okay? As well as keeping a track of your total spending for the month. And then if you look at the at a glance page, you can see that in August, it's then got all our totals and our monthly spending, outgoings, income, and then how much is left at the end of the month. And hopefully that positive balance I can then use uh, to add to a savings account uh, or investments uh, or carry it over to the following month. Okay, so that's why this page, once you've done a few months, is 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 useful because you can sort of have a look and see patterns and, and things. The final tab to show you the assets and liabilities at the moment, um, it it's not doing a great deal. Uh, it's there more just as a reminder to me to do something with it going forward. Um, but it does allow you to keep track of balances in current accounts, savings accounts, credit cards, store cards, etc. Um, maybe you want to keep track of your house valuation um, and car just so you, you know you've got an equity in those things um, and it has got space for crypto uh, assets and shares stocks and 
Google Sheets is quite cool in that it pulls through the current price data every 15, 20 minutes or so um, for major crypto assets and uh, listed um, shares and things. So if you put in your holdings, it will then keep a track of uh, the price and therefore um, the kind of the value of your holding, if that makes sense. Uh, and then you've got your total then assets uh, minus your, your liabilities. Uh, and that's about it. Um, if you've got any comments, suggestions, things we can improve, things that you would do differently, let us know. Um, either in the comment section here uh, on YouTube or email us at martin uh, at abacuswhiskers.com. That's martin with a Y. Uh, or use the, the contact us um, form on our website, abacuswhiskers.com. Or send us a message on Twitter.